Hello, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the Professor Forecast. Today I'm joined with Scottish movie star Mr Ewan Stewart, so hello you. Hello Tyler, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Would you like to tell me about how you first got into acting? Okay, so I left school when I was... How did you get involved with the film in the first place? Like, um, I just the same way as most jobs that I mm. get is uh, nowadays everything. I can't I can't exactly remember, but I think I must have put something down on a videotape for mm. him to watch and sift through people that he was interested in, mm. and. Um, uh, I got a, you know, I got a call to, yeah, he wants to meet you. Mm -hmm. So I went along, I had very long hair, believe it or not. And um, I did the scene that he'd asked me to prepare. Mm -hmm. um, and he said, uh, you know, it was good. And uh, he said, um, you'd have to cut your hair. And I said, oh, I think that'll be all right. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you've worked on a few, like, is it theatre as well? A lot of theatre, yeah. yeah. Could you tell me about the, that? Um, well, it's um, a slightly different experience. Um, it's, uh, it's basically the same wit craft if you turn to be pretentious but it's basically the same way that you do do it for television or film mm. except that instead of being caught by a camera which is obviously often right up in your face you mm. have to make sure that you're doing it enough that people can hear you yeah hopefully in a the theater uh, so that techniques are slightly different and then the social aspect of doing it is quite a lot different people come together in a in a theater company and if they're doing a play together it's like um it's like any group you know if you go mm. away and do something with a group of people a group of become friends and you know hopefully everybody gets on which to be honest 99 percent of the time in the theater people do so it's nice, it becomes a little kind of very friendly unit and a good, hopefully, if, if everything's gone well, it's a good laugh to do it. And if people like the show, then so much the better. Yeah. When you first moved to London, was it acting in films or acting in theatre that you mostly wanted to get, get involved with or was it just both or...? I always wanted, you know, I thought I'd be a film star when yeah. I was at drama school, you know, that's what, that's what, um, what would you that's say? what a lot of people, you know, most people kind of have that sort of, um, I don't know, maybe people wanted to be in the theatre, I didn't, it wasn't, I didn't want to be in the theatre, but I, yeah. I had high kind of ambitions, and then my first job after drama school was a tiny little theatre company with a band driving around. <laughs> lugging our own scenery which was made out basically out of boxes and so I did that for about eight or nine months and it wasn't what I had in mind at all but it was good fun you yeah. know and uh and my age or I got an agent had already been interested in me but said go away and do some theater and then come back when you've done some and then I, when I came back and I did the quite early days I did do a theater show and then for a long time, just television. Yeah. And bits of film. So I really, yeah, I didn't, I, I, I mostly worked in television and yeah. film at the beginning. You told me you always, well, you wanted to be a film star. What would, what would you say was your main inspiration for that? Oh. 
my main inspiration for wanting to be a film star was what I perceived that the lifestyle would be like. Yeah. And fame and kind of money and and the kind of ego gratification. Yeah. Was there any particular person that you, you grew up watching and thought that's that's who I want to be? Um yeah, I probably uh, I don't think even though I like to say even what, not, the, my ego was pretty um, probably a bit out of control but I never was so out of control that I thought I would be Marlon Brando but I but I had yeah he he to a lot of people of my age and a bit older was such a kind of revolutionary film actor and him and a few other people around at the same time just kind of changed the way of looking at things. Yeah. And that's happened a bit since, I think, with different actors. I um, have done that. Joaquin Phoenix, I think, is somebody who's really kind of, whoa, wow, what's he doing, you know? Um, uh, I can't remember his name now, that English actor, Tom. Tom Hardy, you know, he's a similar kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he'd probably be one of my, my people. But I loved all that. My dad loved old black and white movies. And yeah. we used to watch a lot of films together or go yeah. to the pictures a lot. So, yeah, just the whole glamour of being in the pictures. I mean, what's not to aim for, you know? Yeah. What's it been like living in London? Was it your first experience of, like, a city when you first moved there, or? It was. That's why I say maybe, and I don't. I wouldn't if I wouldn't change it if I did it again. Yeah. But I hadn't. I hadn't really been in a pub or you know, mm -hmm. not, not really. Um, but I loved London. As soon as I got there, I loved mm -hmm. it. I loved even just things that became. A bit of a chore like going on the tube when I first you know this is great I yeah. can do this all day sort of thing yeah um so yeah I got I love London I've always liked it yeah I like I love Scotland as well and I love coming back and I and but but London has been my home since 1974 so and, I, and my you know my wife and I've, I've got my daughter Five minute walk down the road, and my two grandchildren, and my sons in London. So you know, it's a, that's really what my roots have sort of. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of different places have you been away, like for filming? Um, yeah, I've had a, not a massive, you know, not not crazy yeah. sort of non-stop go everywhere on the globe. But I've had some nice, interesting. I loved Wellington in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, Mexico was interesting, Titanic. I mean, it was just inside Mexico from over the border from San Diego. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say it was uh, you know, maybe necessarily typical of the country. I think it's still a bit, bit American. Mm -hmm. uh, although, uh, it, yeah, it's actually. Um, no, parts of the nearest town again, I can't remember, mine's gone blank, but famous, quite wild place, and that it lived up to its name. Tijuana. Well done, <laughs> yeah, Tijuana, exactly. Yeah. Um, where else have I liked? Um, Must have filmed uh, I filmed abroad a few times, but I would say Wellington. I really loved Wellington. And Los Angeles, of course. Yeah. I really like Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, a lot of people say they don't. And yeah. It's a kind of weird environment, but I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought it was a great place. Um, so probably Wellington and Los Angeles and... and uh, Rosarito Beach in Mexico, they'd be my top foreign joints, I think. Yeah. What was it like when you first went to America? Did it live up to expectations or? 
Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, I've been there quite a bit before, but, um, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if you've seen, a, if you've seen and sort of semi-idolised the culture as a young person, you go to New York and you see a real-life yellow cab, I mean, <laughs> that's it, that's all you need to see is yeah. this real yellow cab it's again it's a bit like what i said about london going to see in the tube these mundane things suddenly take on an amazing uh you know thing that was probably it was things like that that got me excited when i first went down it's just like as soon as we left king's cross yeah. it's just the underground sign <laughs> and that got me really excited just seeing well, the sign because it's just in the background of films and exactly and that, yeah yeah that's yeah. what these things do, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's my mother's cat. <laughs> um, yeah. Where are you <laughs> Hello, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the Professor Podcast. Today, I'm joined with Scottish movie star, Mr Ewing Stewart. So, hello, Stuart. Hello, hello. Um, How are you? Start. Do you want to do that?